Hi there. Okay, we're back. Um, one of the things you need to have a quick look at also is when you're in layout, you can also do parenting in layout as well as doing it in modeler. One of the advantages of doing your parenting um, in layout would be that you can see the results of your linking straight away, either visually or just by checking it straight away. In modeler, you can't actually test that these links are working and, ha and if you've got them set up correctly or not. Um, so this is one of the reasons why we're in modeler to have a quick look. Now, um, what we've got here is we got, uh, there are several ways to do it. Let's do it um, a similar way to how it works in uh, in Modeler. So I'm going to say um, I want my light wherever my um, let's hit T for move wherever my van goes. Yeah, I want my light that's lighting the van to go with it. So if I move my van, I want my light to go with it. Okay, so let's go in there, Control Z that. So what I need to do is I need to go and select the light. And I hit M for motion options. So I hit the M key. This is lowercase m. And then very much very similar to what we looked at um, in Modeler, where where we were looking at um, linking up via the layer palette, we get a similar sort of thing here. It says, well, what's your parent item for this light? And my parent item is going to be the van main. Okay. And now this is interesting because when we actually drop this back down again, you'll see that the van main is um, the root here, and then we've got a little subtree off that, and all these things are subtreed off it, which means they're all linked to it. So you're getting a visual represent representation of the things that are linked to the man uh, the van main uh, body. You'll also notice that the, currently the camera is not linked because it's, it's set aside from it. Yeah, right. And let's go and do a different way of linking. I'm going to, so let's just check this though. So let's go and select the the main body. I'll move that backwards and forwards and you'll now see that the light also travels along with it so it's definitely linked, it's definitely working ok and control Z that to put it back to the center so let's go and get this um, camera also to link to it and we're going to do that a different way so the way we're going to do it this way would be we're going to do it via a thing called a schematic list or a schematic diagram and we have a, oh, we have a, like a schematic uh, editing pane we can play with but if we sort of use it at the moment, um, we're not going to be able to see our model at the same time. So let's let's go and do that. And let's go and set that up. So hit D for display. I'm going to go over to where it, to the display tab under viewport layout. We're going to switch that over to double horizontal, the third one down. Okay. So currently we've got back here we've got our perspective view and we've got a camera view in the in the lower panes. We've got two viewports to play with. I want to drop this camera view down. Right down to the bottom where it says schematic. So we've got now have a schematic view. So what we can see at the moment is if I select my uh, van main here and I drag that around, you can see all the items that are linked to that. Yeah, and if I select one of the uh, the children from that, you can see that moves around on its own. Nothing else moves with it. So if I move the camera, nothing else moves with the camera. You can also see in the viewport what we're selecting. Um, if I select the 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 main uh, van, the uh, the schematic view moves around obviously the actual object doesn't move just to check <laughs> you're not expecting that to move at the same time um, but you can see it's linked and it goes and it selects it okay um, so let's go and let's go and link the camera okay to the main body again so here we go camera go and select the camera hold down control key and then go and click on the van main and then that then links to it so now as I drag if I go and select now, if I let go of the control key, if I go and select the van main uh, thing, you'll, you'll notice that the camera goes along for the ride. And if I also go and select the main thing in the viewport and drag that along, you'll see, let's go and zero that up, you'll see that the camera goes along with it as well. Okay, so that's, um, that's another way of showing that. How cool is that? Quite cool and quite simple. Right, so that's um, linking. How do you unlink something then? So, well, we've got, you have two options, don't you? If you've done something wrong, you want to go and unlink it. Well, you've got a motion option, M for motion. And you can say that, um, let's put that over the top here. You can say that, uh, for instance, these wheels are currently linked to the van main. I can sort of say none, and that's going to unlink it. That's one way of doing it. Okay, if you want to do it via the schematic editor, if you press zero and click on here, and if you sort of zoom out a little bit. If I want the camera to not be linked, to the main, so at the moment it is, so how do I unlink it then? I can't just drag it off, it doesn't seem to you know, unlink it. Well, you select this, uh, you select the item you want to unlink, hold down the control key, and rather than selecting something to link to, if you, s if you go and click on into something into space, it will unlink it. Simple as that.
Okay, so that's now unlinked. Yeah. If I want to, if I want that item linked again, then you can go and link it again. So um, camera, hold down control, and then click on the item you want to uh, want it to be linked to. So the, the control key is still held down. Left hand mouse button. Click on the main van. Let let go of everything. Go and select your main van. You'll notice now everything's linked again. It's really easy. Okay, so let's jump back over. So that is just about it, I think. That sort of covers uh, linking and unlinking. Simple as that. It's not difficult. And that's a short video. And that will sort of do us, I think. That's um, parenting. Basics of parenting. The only other thing I would do, we've not really looked at null. Let's just chuck a null in there while we're at it. So if you want to, at some point, replace the general motion of where this um, lorry is going to be, and you're not sure if you're going to swap out the object or you want it to be a completely different object um, but you want to like inherit where it basically goes around and whatever we can also do another thing we can go and add so go items go and add add a, a non-rendering item and it's called a null it's, it doesn't render it's just an item and there we go we'll call it null and we'll call it van okay and we'll hit ok and you'll notice it's um, let's go back to one viewport so I've got a bit more view in here it's, it's just here we go, it's just in zero zero land. Okay, and let's go and link this to the main van. So let's go and do that. So let's go and select the main van. Okay, and then we're going to hit M for motion options. Let's go and hit M for motion options. There you go. And the parent item is going to be the null. Okay, so it's going to be the null of the van. Okay, so now when we go and select the null, so it's going down here, null of the van, which is here. A little cross item here. If I move that around, everybody moves, and that everybody is going to be everybody. Okay, so that is the cameras and the light, the whole shebang is all moving. Simple as that. I'm going to go and check it in schematic view, then hit the zero key, and we'll go and zero key while we're in this view. That's going to zoom that viewport up. We can sort of zoom out a bit, and there's my null van. You'll notice that everybody else is going along for the ride. How cool is that? Pretty cool. And that is it, basically. That's that sort of done it. Yeah. If we move this around, you can see that there's our hierarchy. So we can drag the null, and everybody else moves with it. Simple as that. So parent-child relationships, much easier. Um, unfortunately, um, Lightwave does not include a divorce feature. You just separate, and you know that's it. No one gets the house or or Lightwave. There you go. Um, there you have it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'll see you another time, and hopefully that didn't confuse you too much. We all hope it didn't. If it did, well, there you go. Tough. Catch you later. Bye.